the first round of the NFL Draft is in the books. It was a fast-moving first round. I've never seen one go by that quickly. And a ton of trades really marked the first round. Still plenty of guys taking plenty of interesting picks. What was your favorite pick? I think my favorite picks, and I'm going to go plural okay. on this one, were the safe ones. And I say that because I think when we look back in this draft in two or three years, it's not going to be considered a great one. Five or six, it may not be considered a very good one at all. And I think there's going to be some splash players at the top. But the safe picks, like the Andrew Lux, like the Trent Richardsons, the Luke Keekleys, uh, Mark Barron, I think is going to be a very solid pro. Those will end up being the picks that I think we look back and say, okay, they knew what they were getting. A lot of uh, swings and misses, I think, will be coming with these uh, with these choices. So I like those those safe ones. And another safe pick, really, a team that just sat still while everyone was moving all around them. The Pittsburgh Steelers get David DeCastro. Many thought maybe a top 15, top 10 pick, the best yeah. guard in the draft. They just sit back and get another good offensive lineman. What was your biggest surprise? I think my biggest surprise is that Courtney Upshaw was not drafted. We heard uh, you know Kobe Fleener's name mentioned as, as a possibility late in the first round, not being a big year. For for tight ends. I thought he would have a good chance to go in the 20s. You know, Denver Broncos trading out a couple times. I guess not stunning, but the fact that they weren't able to land one of those defensive tackles, I think probably hurt them a little bit. So those are a couple surprises. I think it goes without saying, we talked about it in another video when we looked at the first round. Bruce Irvin to the Seahawks, I think, was probably the biggest shocker sure. for everyone in the first round. Of all the teams and GMs that really made moves and did things tonight, who really stood out for you? Yeah, I thought Mark Dominic was able to, you know, obviously he didn't get up and get Trent Richardson. That, that would probably go as a negative, but he made up for it by going back and landing Barron, who's going to help that secondary, and then trading back into the first round and getting the running back from Boise, who's going to really help them. And, you know, he, he seems to fit uh, Greg Schiano's style. That's the kind of guy he wants to go to war with. So I think that's two good players that really fit the identity of their new head coach. You mentioned, uh, you know, Kevin Colbert and the Steelers, the amazing job they did. Bill Belichick stood out with two aggressive moves up. Uh, you know, a lot of, lot of interesting uh, maneuvers that we don't often see. I thought Rick Spielman, in just, you know, moving back, I think he got the guy they wanted all along, but he moves back one pick gets you know three more picks still gets their job uh, for, his, for his first time on the job did a pretty good job but on the flip side what about some of the teams that maybe didn't pair as well yeah you're right about Spielman he created the illusion that uh, yeah, there were teams moving up he got the extra picks and then was able to move back in for Harrison Smith who will start from day one so you know there were there were some strange moves Riley Reif I'm not sure if he's a left tackle that's what Jim Schwartz pens him as uh, you'd have to look and maybe Michael Roos is the only guy with arms that short who's an elite left tackle in the NFL Joe Thomas has longer arms than that so you know, there's only a handful of guys who really fit that mold who can play left tackle. I thought cornerback was the choice there. They went and passed at that spot. What do you think what the Rams did? Rams had a weird night. I mean, you know, trading out, you know, the, the deal with Dallas, move them down. They take Michael Brockers, so I think at this point he's probably only going to be a first and second round guy. Developmental tackle. Talent's there. He's one of those bus guys I'm talking about, though. I really think in a couple years we could say that maybe he didn't fulfill his potential. The team that was sitting as high as they were to start the draft, move all the way down. I'm not sure they got. They'll have more picks, plenty more coming True. up. In the second round. Yeah, especially in the second round. We'll see what remains to be done with the St. Louis Rams. That's a look back at the first round of the draft. For the best coverage, keep checking back right here to ProFootballWeekly.com.